Hi, it's Chris Waters with Waters International Realty. Welcome to my video real estate blog. If this is your first time here, I want to direct your attention to the top of my website where you can search for homes for sale and you have direct access to the MLS, just like I do. This search tool is updated every single hour. Also, if you're looking for something that's not on the market yet, we have a proprietary list of coming soon properties. So these are homes that are not yet in the MLS. You'll have first dibs to take a look at these. And if you own a home and you're thinking about what your home is worth, you can search on our home value report at the top here and find out from a low end to a high end online instantly what your home would possibly sell for. Okay, the topic of the video today is on the four questions you've got to ask before you sign a mortgage. Number one, what is the APR? So just in case you don't know, the APR really tells you what the true cost of your loan is, including all closing costs, underwriting fees, and processing fees. Okay, number two, does the mortgage carry a prepayment penalty? This is important because if you end up for some reason, say you have to get relocated three years after moving into the home, and you get penalized for paying the loan off three years in advance, that could really negatively affect your ability to have you know, a, a profitable investment from owning a home. Uh, number three, um, can you review the GFE and HUD-1 together? So GFE stands for the Good Faith Estimate, and HUD-1, this is the closing document that you sign when you go to the closing table. And actually, depending on when you're watching this video, effective uh, November 1st, we're actually using what's called a closing disclosure document at the closing table. So basically, it's really important you compare these two. The good faith estimate is what a lender gives you when you first talk with that lender to find out what the interest rate's going to be and what your closing costs are going to be. And you want to make sure that that good faith estimate matches up with the HUD, the settlement statement, at the closing table. Number four, um, how long will my rate lock and what's the maximum cap? So here's the deal. You might start searching for a home on day one and you get with the mortgage guy and you lock that interest rate in at, say, 4.5%, but you don't end up finding a home for two to three months. Well, when you get with a loan officer, it's important you ask them, you know, hey, how, how long is this, this rate going to be locked? Because if interest rates go up you know, and your lock expires, you're going to end up having to pay a higher interest rate when you actually go to close on your home. So these are the four key questions you need to ask when um, or right before you're signing a mortgage. Obviously, these are things you want to be thinking about when you're getting a mortgage and you're talking to loan officers also. So working with a, a, a trusted real estate advisor is going to help you go through these processes and help you make sure you get navigated in the right direction. So again, um, thanks for watching this video today. At the top, again, you can search homes for sale to get the most up-to-date list of properties available. Don't forget to email me if you want to get a coming soon list of properties. And finally, if you want to know what your home is worth, we've got our home value tool at the top to figure out online instantly what your home would possibly sell for. Thanks for watching this video. Everybody have a great week.